Have you ever written a function only to realize later that its name was misleading? Maybe you expected a list but got a single item or was an error. The problem, it's all in the name. In this video, we are diving into the subtle but critical difference between singular and plural function names in Python and how following the Python style guidelines can save you from frustrating bugs. Imagine you walk into a store and ask for apples. You expect multiple apples, right? But instead, the clerk hands you just one apple. Confusing. That's exactly how misleading function names work in Python. In Python, function names should clearly indicate what they return. A function named getUser should return a single user, while getUsers should return multiple users. This small difference makes your code easier to understand and less error prone. Look at this function getUsers. It sounds like it returns multiple users, right? But it actually returns just one user. If someone mistakenly loops over it, expecting a list, they'll hit a type error. To avoid confusion, always follow these best practices from Python style guideline. If a function returns a single item, name it in the singular form. If it returns a list or collection, use the plural form. And most importantly, stay consistent throughout your code base. Here's a real world example fixing a buggy API call. A developer is working with a web API that provides user data. They initially write fetch users function and they try calling it and looping over the result. This function, which suggests it returns multiple users, but the API actually returns just one user. This mismatch leads to errors when looping over the result. So the developer renames the function correctly to fetch user. Now the function name correctly represents what it does. In computer programming, clarity is king. A simple function name change can save you house of debugging. So next time you name a function, Ask yourself, does the name match what it returns? A stick to singular for one item and plural for collections, and your code will be cleaner, clearer, and easier to maintain. Do you have a coding habit that caused you unexpected bugs? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe for more Python tips. Thanks for watching.